please be aware that call to this number may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Yes, good afternoon. Hello, can I ask me to Mr Rankin, please? Who's calling? It's Rebecca calling from Brunel Coal. Hello, this is the Wing Commander speaking. How can I help you? Hello, how are you there, Wing Commander? Um, it was just a very quick call. I spoke to you last week and I got you some PPI documents sent out. Did you receive those all right? Uh, I got some from a company named Bulldozy, I think. Brunel Coal. Uh, I, I look through the paperwork. One moment. <laughs> I did receive some with PPI in question. What's the name of the company? It's Brunel Coal. Oh, yes, that's the 36% one, wasn't it? I, I can't see any paperwork from you. I've got some from some company, Bulldozy, and uh, I, I think a Golden Rider or something, but uh, wow. other than that, I don't see don't see the documents. Right, so let's make sure that we've got the right address for you, sir. Can I just say, you read yourself to read me off the first one of your address, please? You should already have my address. Yeah, I have got your address. I'm just going to make sure that it's nine seven. Sorry, 797. I was going to say, yes, 797, yes. Yep, Cleasy Road and the postcode November Echo 244 Bravo Uniform. Or Bravo Uniform, that is correct. Okie dokie. Well, you're not received it yet, sir, so what I will do, um, I'll get you another one sent out in the post now. Um, hopefully you should be receiving those ones within the next three to four working days. Uh, right. again, you, you are addressing it to the correct title, aren't you? Just, we had some problem with the, the postal service a while ago. Um, people kept writing me with Mr. and all that kind of stuff, and obviously anyone I do do business with will know my correct title, so you know, just ensure that that is right. correct. You have my correct title on there, yes? Right. What, what title would you like down there? Wing Commander? It should be Wing Commander, yes. Right. Oh, you're the lady who likes seeing Wing Commander, aren't you? Yeah. I remember. That. Say it again for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wing Commander. Excellent. Oh, God, you have no no idea what effect that has on me. I'm saluting you it's right it. now. It's Telephone in one hand. Wing Commander, what sort of job do you do? I talk to telemarketers, and I put their calls online for the benefit of anyone else who may get called by them. Right, oh, that's very nice, sir. Um, so on your title, then, on your documents, you'd like your title to be Wing Commander. That is correct, yes, yes. The, the Postal Service won't deliver anything else, because I had, uh -huh. had words with them some time ago about that. I was getting so much oh, junk wing mail from companies, well. and they were addressing as Wing Commander, oh, sorry, as Mr., instead of Wing Commander, and it's obviously not good enough, is it? Right, because then our system, you see, we can address you as Chief, Doctor, Lord, Miss, Mr., Mrs., Ms., and Rev. Oh, another problem with your systems, then. No, it has to be Wing Commander. Well, I will do that. I will get in touch with uh, with our um, with with the admin department. Yes. Yeah, we'll let them know that on your letter you would like it to be addressed as Wing Commander. Yes, but well, perhaps the, the software developer yeah, for your for your systems also could add Wing Commander into there, just for me. Exactly. If they if they added it onto the system, so that'd be absolutely great, and everyone could be a Wing Commander, couldn't they? Well, they could be. They could be if, if they did similar you know activities to myself. Um, that would be wonderful. Um, but even if it was just for me, that would be great. Right, well, I'll do, sir. I will get it done just for you. Um, I'll get it sorted out today. I'll give our admin team a call now. Um, and like I say, if, if, we can't, if we can't change it to Wing Commander, sir, then what do we do? Do I just leave it as blank? It's going to have to be Wing Commander. Um, unless perhaps in the office, anyone who may be calling me, if you have a, just in large writing across the wall, Wing Commander, so that they know it's going to be so perhaps, so a picture, so perhaps a picture of me underneath as well. A picture as I'm standing now, saluting you with telephone in hand. No problem, sir. So what I'll do, I'll get in touch with the admin team now and I'll let them know that no post gets delivered to your house unless the title is that Wing Commander Ian Rankin. Rankin has got a silent L on the end as well. It has got a silent L, yes, yes. So I, did, I, see, I did take a note of that last time you told me. Excellent, yes. So it's it's right at the end of it. Yeah, there was some confusion about that. Where did you think the L was going to be? Well, I didn't know, because it's a silent L, so I really didn't know. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just curious about that, because usually there's not, not too much confusion about it, but obviously you were a little confused. <laughs> but that's okay, that's uh, understandable, I suppose. And I'll see whether or not we can get Wing Commander on there for you, and I'll give you a call. Back add it there. on, add it on. If you like, I can even send you a photograph, and you could have a photograph on there also. Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> 
<laughs> no problem, sir. What I'll do, I'll get access again to your admin team now and I'll get you that sorted for you, OK? That's absolutely brilliant, Rebecca. Thank you very, very much. No problem, Wing Commander. Thank you ever so much. You have a wonderful day. Take you care. Too. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.